In the previous video, I talked about how Agile led to DevOps. Now is the best time to talk about what DevOps is really all about. And we've been talking about uh, efficient organizations and organizations need to constantly change in order to achieve their business goals. Sometimes it's just to stay relevant. Sometimes it's to respond to the market, to the customers. It's to achieve their competitive advantage. Sometimes it's just to survive in the market, to respond to the market, right? And um, it, customers need change as well. And to respond to that, organizations have to introduce changes. And this is just an example of some of the successful organizations and how many times they introduce changes every single day. And that also is the secret sauce of their success. They are able to respond to outsmart to the to, to you know their competition. They are able to respond to the customer uh, demands. They are able to release new features so faster. So you look at the deployment frequency, and at the same time, they're products are reliable if you don't have reliability um, uh, when you're doing making changes at that space you'll probably be out of business with you know in no time because you know if you if your site is down if your um, site is not stable and reliable it is definitely going to affect the transaction and the business and the credibility that you would have so coming back to our organizational goal organizations need to change and each of that change introduces a risk there is a risk of, you know, when you make some changes, there's a risk of uh, having a failure, um, a failed release, having maybe defects, maybe some critical issues, and each of that is a risk. So what DevOps allows you to do is it offers a path to minimize the risk while still achieving the rapid change. Remember the fictional wall? Um, you, you know, developers wanted to uh, release products faster, whereas operations team wanted to, you know, focus on the reliability. You can achieve both at the same time with DevOps. And that's the reason why DevOps is significant. And DevOps lets you do that through principles, practices, as well as tools. And a lot of those tools are just related to automating things. And it is a cultural movement which allows you to do that. And that's what DevOps definition really is. So this is what DevOps allows you to do. And how do you measure the success of the organization or the success of DevOps really is through the deployment frequency. How many times you can make changes, how fast you can make changes. That's the frequency of deployments. At the same time, uh, how long it takes for you to make that change. The lead time to change is important. And that's where value stream mapping comes in. So it has to, unless it is fast enough, uh, you will not be able to increase the frequency of deployment anyways. And when you when there are things which will break, how long it takes for you to recover to back to the normal position, right? So that's another important aspect. So unless you have automation, unless you have collaboration, unless you use some of the DevOps principles, this may not be possible. And we also talk about change failure rates. How, how many times failures happen when you make changes? So these are all the relevant metrics when you want to measure the success of DevOps. And um, if you look at State of DevOps report by Puppet Labs, this is from two, 2016 report that they have. Um, this is, this is, this talks about uh, the high performing IT organizations and their secret to the success. And uh, these are the organizations, for example, which are able to, um, you know, do 200 times more frequent deployments um, using some of the DevOps practices. That is, at the same time, their recovery of failure was 24 times faster at three times lower the failure rate and shorter lead times and all of this can be achieved using devops so you know to simplify uh, this is let's say your workflow is starts from planning coding testing release deployment and op, you know operations part uh, agile covered the developer parts the plan code test release and uh, that you know devops takes it to the next level by incorporating some of these agile practices or extension of agile practices really into the operations world which brings it to the delivery and deployment part as well and that's what devops is all about 
in the next video we're going to learn about how do we interpret devops and that's going to be very very important if you're going to attend this course you need to understand what aspects you really need to look at when it comes to devops